Hey there guys and welcome back to Clumsy Danny. Today we've got some fresh hot off the press information about Iron Banner. It has gone 6 o'clock which means the Iron Banner is now live and there's a bit of an interesting way to get to it this time. What you'll do is, as soon as you join into Destiny, you will load into the Iron Temple and a cutscene will play. There'll be a link to the cutscene down in the description below. I'm not going to put it into this video. But then you have to go and speak to Lord Saladin. And what Saladin will do is he will give you a quest about Ephrodite saying that Ephrodite has returned to the Iron Temple to go and find her because she is the new Iron Banner vendor. So then you go across the bridge, through the door that has up till now been pretty much closed off, and you will find Ephrodite on the left. Now, Ephrodite is a badass. She sounds very peaceful, and this is referenced in her Grimoire cards, but I'll get that in another video. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what does Lady Ephrodite have for us, this Iron Banner? So, I can tell you that this Iron Banner, Lady Ephrodite, is selling the Iron Saga Gauntlets, the Iron Saga Mark, the Iron Saga Cloak, and the Iron Saga Bond, all at 350 light level, for 25 legendary marks for the gauntlets and the class items, and 50 legendary marks for the weapons. Now, the gauntlets and the class items, you have to be Iron Banner rank 3 to buy, and the weapons you have to be Iron Banner rank 4 to buy. Alongside this equipment, she is also selling two weapons, the Proud Spire, and the Unbent Tree, both of which are 350 light level. Now, the Proud Spire has the following perks, Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, Rifled Barrel, Oiled Frame, Snapshot, Casket Mag, Replenish, and Range Fighter, and the Unbent Tree has Iron Red Dot, Iron Warrior Sights, Iron Range Scope, Perfect Balance, Reinforced Barrel, Lightweight, Casket Mag, Hidden Hand, and Hip Fire. Neither of these are particularly fantastic rolls, but they are still weapons that I'd pick up, especially because they cost so little, I'd definitely recommend getting them. Lady Ephrodite also has four bounties for this Iron Banner, the entire bounty system has changed, there are no longer weekly bounties and daily bounties, there are now just four weekly bounties in the Iron Banner and they are as follows. Earn 100 points in the Iron Banner, with a match complete counting for 5 points, and a match win counting for 10 points. The second is, earn 100 points with ability kills. A grenade counts for 2 points, a melee counts for 3 points, and a super counts for 5 points. Earn 100 points with weapon kills. A primary weapon kill counts for 1 point, a special weapon kill for 2, and a heavy weapon kill for 5 points. And then finally, earn 100 points supporting your teammates. Assisting a kill counts for 1 point, an avenger kill counts for 3 points, and an allies defended kill counts for 5 points. So actually not too bad with the weekly bounties there, all of which are pretty easy to complete if you just play normally. For the earn 100 points while playing Iron Banner and the 100 points with weapon kills, you will gain a legendary weapon at the end of it, so an Iron Banner exclusive weapon. And then for the other two, the ability kills and the supporting your teammates bounties, you will earn a legendary gear piece, again from the Iron Banner. So then guys, that is all the information we currently have about Lady Ephrodite and the Iron Banner. Go get into Supremacy, it is a really, really good Iron Banner, and I would definitely recommend playing lots of it. Don't forget to pick up Shax's weekly bounty, because that is also completable in Supremacy this week. But for now, I've been Clumsy Danny, thank you very much for watching, please do like the video, and do subscribe for more daily Destiny content. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.